I've been asked by a, a, a commenter on my channel are there more class one jobs available than class two jobs and what is the, the, the difference with uh, about the money yeah the money right straight off the head I can tell you there is more class two jobs this bus is going a bit too close to me there is more and it's coming to my side this is just That was a peace stick. He's on the wrong lane. There are more class two jobs available in the market than class one. There are two stages. Once you pass, you're given the rigid. You, the first test you do is in a, a, a rigid, a vehicle without a trailer. When you pass, they will only give you class two permission granted to drive the class 2 vehicle the rigid just like the one passing me right now that white lorry going to overtake the bus the red bus that is the rigid okay it's not pulling anything now once you on your first stage that's the kind of vehicle you're going to get and you're going to get examined in that it will only let you to drive vehicles like that no trailer all right when you go to next level you still need another practical exam. That's the one I said that if you're wise enough, you you only wait about six months and carry on and go and do the, the class one. Because you're still sparking from your lessons. It saves you money, you're still a student. And then now you, you're actually working, driving the vehicles. If you do it within three months, believe you me, you'll be like you've not left the, the, the classroom. That's the idea. In those days, they used to call a, a, a truck driver license, they used to call it a grandfather's license. When I passed, someone told us that that's the way they, they're calling you now. They're going to call you grandfather of the road. It means roughly that you know everything. There's nothing that you don't know around the road. A person who drives an articulated truck can surely drive anything, any vehicle, any land vehicle I can drive. Get me a bus any day, I'll, I'll skid off and bring it safe. The going rates, I am talking for my area and, and the, few, the few couple jobs that I know. On a weekday, class one, and this is also class, this is night rates. Class one, they will give you on a weekday, 14 pounds an hour on a weekday on a weekend saturday they will give you more they'll give you 15 and on sunday they'll give you 18. if you're class two you will receive one pound less than all those rates it sounds like a little money but it's not that small if you're doing a 60 hour week okay 60 times one pound is 60 pounds so imagine attending at the same center or doing even the same start times and same sort of uh, same sort of time but then you're adding in one week 60 pounds less than the other 240 in a month roughly or more that that a person will get just because they are, they have that little other extra experience when you're a class one, you can do all class two jobs and then plus extra of the class one one. That means you're, 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 you're actually all-rounder. Okay. Packed the lorry, they're, they're, they're unloading me. It's shaking and they drive in with the, with the forklift, they're unloading me. Ease the other aspect about these two types of vehicles, class one and class two, is the ease. Class one is easier, depend in general. Some places, even if you're in a class one, you have many places to go, makes it, it doesn't make it easier. But in general, because it's a big volume, you'll be going to one place and then they will be helping you, like now. 
I'm only, my role tonight is to drive, drive, my role tonight is to drive this long vehicle to this address, park it there, they're unloading me. Once they're done, I drive it back to the depot and then uh, my, my, my job is finished for the night. Where the money at? Right, in trucking there's a couple of specialist, specialist uh, jobs. There's a, a few specialist jobs. It is a freezing night by the way. Three degrees, one degree, two degrees. Four specialist kind of uh, trucking in the UK. You've got, one is roadworks. Another is ADR, which is the Dangerous Goods Certificates. That one lets you drive the tankers and uh, gas, gas canisters. Whoa, that is a big shake. I hope they're not breaking the lorry. So there is trains. If you ever see them advertise a, a job around the trains and the lorry, if you're going to drive for network rail, you want to run there very quickly. So where the danger goes higher, they pay you more. You understand? Another specialist kind of job on the trucks is the crane. If you train on and get the crane, uh, they call it Hiab. H I A B. If you type it in on Google, they'll tell you about it. It lets you drive lorries that are mounted with a crane. Those that they are self loading, you get to the place, rock your, tra your crane, and, and take off things off of the, the lorry without waiting to, to get help. That is also, they, they do it for containers as well. Shipping containers. There are those lorries that can pick off that container and deliver it and carry it. Mainly they will do that for an empty. But yes, that's one of the other specialist ones that you want if you're really into this and you want to grow your rate per hour. Apart from that, the most common places that you're going to work when you're a trucker in, in the UK is supermarkets and stores. Stores, deliveries and supermarkets, that's the most common. There's also money there. There is also money there. If you, if you knock out your hours, a couple of long hours, long days, you will clock in some money. That is the uh, main, main, main. You can't avoid supermarkets. Store deliveries plus one is better, it's bigger, and it's most easier. You need more patience around class one. Let me ins insist on that because in class one, you will reach somewhere. When I started today, the place that I started, I had to go, I waited two hours in a, in a rigid what would you be waiting for for two hours? What would they be doing? Because it's a small volume there is nothing that you'd wait for two hours i waited two hours and it could have been longer i've driven here for an hour the unloading has been quick i can see he's almost coming to call me uh, very quick unload. we did a few videos with my friends at national theater in, in kampala if you haven't had the chance to have a look look at this uh, i'll leave a, a link over here if you touch it it will show you this funny, funny video of I follow you on YouTube. It was a hilarious one. Got another video that I am gonna drop before Christmas. I promise. A shout out to Shabiro and Kaganda and uh, Kafrika, friends of mine who always at uh, National Theatre Uganda. In the, on Thursdays, they normally have comedy night on every Thursday. But to leave it at this, I don't want to go on and on all night. The job is done. I've brought back the truck. Appreciate all of you. So stay safe. God bless. And much love.